Uh, the payoff profiles matrix is a fantastic way to assess the value of a number of initiatives that the, current, the company can be uh, currently looking at and it works really well for people who do like numbers and people who don't like numbers. So that's the whole company covered. Uh, we're going to take three steps. Let me take you through the first one. The first one we have here is um, the posture. At its most basic, a company can choose to shape the f to uh, deal with the future in three different ways. It can choose to shape the future, to adapt to the future, or to reserve the right to play. Uh, typically, you know, companies like Apple will always shape the future. Whatever they do, they try to achieve leadership in the industry, setting standards, creating demand, etc. At the other end, one might argue that Microsoft has spent the last 20 years reserving the right to play by investing a little bit to stay in the search game, for example, but not really succeeding, etc., etc. Other companies might uh, relentlessly choose to adapt, be the second fastest mover in the market, and then more often than not, most companies dabble across all three. They shape in some areas, adapt in others, reserve in others. Okay, So that's the first dimension. The second dimension in the payoff profiles matrix is the payoffs, so the bets. Um, and there are broadly in this context three types of bets, no regret moves, options, and big bets. No regret moves are decisions that have a positive outcome in any scenario, possibly a bit self-servingly. I tend to think of training as falling in that category. Training always has a positive outcome. Sometimes it's a little bit positive, sometimes it's very positive. Uh, the second category are options. Options are typically bets where you need to spend a little bit and in most instances that spend is gone and in a few it will really pay big. A uh, classic example here would be the lottery. You buy the ticket, most of the time you just throw it in the bin and every so often you get something back in return. And then the third type of bet are big bets and for these here what we look at are scenarios where in some context you get a really big positive payoff, in others you get a big negative payoff. Um, possibly uh, you know one of the ways I think of that is pay, playing Russian roulette with a loaded gun for money. Uh, every so often you win big, uh, in, other com in other circumstances you die. Okay. Now when we have these two dimensions, the um, the, the uh, postures and the bets, we combine these two into a 3x3 three three matrix, which is the payoff profiles matrix. And what we find is you put shape, adapt, reserve across the top, and big bets, options, no regret moves, um, vertically. And what you do next is you take the initiatives that you currently have on the table and you plot them. Let's think of them as post-its. And you plot the various initiatives, and what you find here is you have a portfolio of initiatives. So it ends up summarizing your company as a portfolio of initiatives or of moves. And then the next step is once you've plotted these little initiatives, you take action. Um, and there's four types of actions here. The first one is no regret moves. You've got to get them off the table. It's typically something that the management team, the senior management team, shouldn't be discussing. It should be delegating it to slightly more junior people in the company for them to earn their spurs. Okay? It's going to be positive. Now let them make it really positive to uh, enhance their career. The second uh, action you take is you look at the top right corner here, the big bets reserve. That corner should absolutely be empty. There is no reason for a company to take a big bet and only reserve the right to play as a result. Why? Well, because if you look at the axes, what you might recognize is shape, adapt, reserve is broadly speaking a measure of rewards. And then big bets, options, and no regret move is broadly speaking a, re a, a, a version of risk. And so what we have here is a risk reward matrix by another name. And big bets reserve are too much risk for the reward they're offering. What do you do? Well, you take that post-its and you, uh, you can either say, well, if we're going to take this amount of big bet, this amount of risk, can we make it a bit more adaptive? Can we do something that will just, uh, sorry, can we do something a bit more adaptive? Can we do something that brings more benefits to the company? Alternatively, you might go, well, actually, if we're just reserving the right to play, can we make the initiative a bit more optional? Can we split it in various parts that we invest in once we have worked out that the first ones have uh, succeeded. Okay. The third action you take is you look at that uh, top left corner here with the big bets to shape. 
that's where the management team should really be spending in time because it's time. Uh, that's where the management team needs to discuss um, and, 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 and stay really on top of the people delivering this. Why? Because this has the potential to massively transform the fortunes of the company one way or the other. And then the fourth action, um, if you've noticed here, now you're familiar with sort of moving post-its around, can you see how the best corner of this map, if we've taken off the no regret moves, is the options to shape. Why? Because you get real positive rewards with the shapey dimension and the options make it a bit less risky. So what you look at is you look at your other post-its, sort of the adapt big bets, um, the adapt options, the reserve options, and you try and shift them a little bit towards the option shapes. Now, I can't really go into specifics of examples. You'll have to work, at, uh, work uh, that yourself in your company context. But um, in summary, what you have here is effectively a 21st century version of the BCG share growth matrix. It's a portfolio optimization tool that um, relies less on numbers and more on the intellectual flexibility of the participants to create slightly different versions of the different initiatives that they are currently contemplating. Okay? And hopefully you have a stand at this, you eliminate the no regret moves, you stop uh, big bets that only reserve, you turn them into a bit more shapey or a bit more optional, and you, you talk a lot about your big bets shaper, and you try and move all the other post-its towards options to shape.